friends, Allie Pay here, the maker behind Road Trip Sock Yarn. I am so excited to show you these yarns today that are headed to Acorn Street Shop in Seattle, Washington. That's right, Seattle, one of my favorite cities to visit. This is so fantastic. The Pacific Northwest has captured the hearts of so many of my friends. I have been really fortunate to come to your town a number of times. I've also visited a lot of the surrounding areas, the hiking, just hanging out. It's great. I love it. It's beautiful in ways the Rocky Mountains just aren't. And that's really cool. That makes it a really fun place to come to. So uh, before we get into the yarn killers, I want to tell you a little bit about myself. Like I said before, I'm Allie Pate, the maker behind Road Trip Sock Yarn, and my yarns are inspired by road trip destinations. So today we're going to look at some of the parts of your city that are very inspiring. Maybe these are places that you're familiar with. Maybe this is where you hang out. Maybe this is where you live. Maybe this is the place that you need to go to next in your town. See a little bit more about what's going on there, what makes it so cool, and Hopefully we can get out and about to get our stitch on in public. That sounds really fun. In addition to the road trip sock yarns, I also do the Meow Meow Lash line. So they're all inspired by kitties because, well, I might be well on my way to being the crazy cat lady. And I am very okay with that. I love animals. love kitties. And if I could, I would bring them all home. I just can't. I could, but I shouldn't. I can't. I can't. We'll go with I can't. Uh, but for each of the kitty yarns that you're going to see, I make a monetary donation to Denver Dumb Friends League to help kitties get adopted. It's the next best thing I could come up with. Uh, it's probably better this way. But uh, these yarns, they're, they're gorgeous. Everything is dyed on the traditional road trip sock yarn base. So that is the 7525. It is 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. There's about 400 meters per 100 grams. So plenty to do a one skein project or there are three of each color so you can easily build up to do larger projects too. This uh, 7525 is machine washable. It can tumble dry, but I always just lay my garments flat. It just makes me feel more comfortable that way. And the really cool part about it is every time I wash it, it gets softer and softer. I know as soon as I think, oh no, this is totally it. It's definitely washed out. This is, this is going to be as soft as it gets. It surprises me again. And <laughs> it's fun. It's great. Uh, I've got a little bit of both to show you. So I think we're going to get started with the kitties first. I know. Uh, there are, let's see, a handful, a handful, a basket of kittens, if you will. Yes. Uh, but let's start with those so that we can show you more about these yarns. First up, we have Gidget. Gidget, and this is from the Meow Meow Now I'm going to show you the skein up close so you can see the kitty inspiration, and then I'll open it up. So this is Gidget. You can see a little bit of the white in here, some dark and some orange. Here's our inspiration. Isn't that so cute? Look at that kitty. All right, now let's open it up. And you can see that there's a little bit of difference here. When you stitch this, then you'll be able to see more of that color blending. I'm all about color blending. I feel like I should warn you now, we're going to be talking a lot about the intermingling of colors and the importance of that. All right, next we have, let's see who we have. Oh, Sierra. Sierra is a real pretty dark gray and white kitty. Here's our inspiration photo. Yeah. And let's open it up. All right, a little bit of white here, a little bit of white here, and some nice dark gray. You're going to see some tonal variation throughout that gray as it was kettle dyed. All right, let's see. We have Casey. Casey has a lot more mixing going on. Here's our kitty inspiration. There's Casey, and you can see some of the orange right in here. It's a little easier to see on the actual photo itself. There we go. Got the oranges, the darks, the lights, a little bit of the blending in. 
taking advantage of a big natural light window here. Oh great, this is silk. And silk is really pretty. You can see there's a slight blue undertone to catch the slight blue undertone of this nice gray. See that? Oh, there's a little glare on there. There we go, that seems to be working really well. This is silk, the silk kitty. And let's open it up so you can see more of that real pretty blue underneath. Some spots have a little bit more density than others. Silk, the silk kitty. All right, this is huckleberry. Huckleberry. Got a lot of cards going. There is our kitty inspiration. Try to get that glare away. Huckleberry. Gorgeous. And one last kitty. This is Ezra. She is game. You can see some dark darks with some more of the, I can't call them lights because it is a dark skin, but lighter than the dark darks. This is Ezra. This is the kitty inspiration. There it is. There we go. Let's open it up for us so you can see some of that variety throughout. Now, really fun with kitty yarns. Like we were talking about earlier, basket of kitties, they all go together so incredibly well. So here we have three. And you can twist them up, see how they're working. And really, you can snag any of these guys and put them together and create a really pretty larger project. Kitty. All right. So here we have the Meow Meow Lash yarns. They're very near and dear. Now I have to tell you, everything I do is dyed shop specific. So these colors are only available at Acorn Street. If you see something that you love, grab it and grab it quick because I know these colors are not going to last long. Uh, most of them are all dyed super small batch, usually in numbers of twos or threes. So they're great for a one skein project or you can combine up to the three to do a larger project. And heck, most of these colors work so well together that you can grab a couple that you really love to do larger projects that way as well. So next up, we have Road Trip Back Yarn. While I was researching your city, I found that your motto, name, calling is the city of flowers, which is beautiful. And I know why, because everything just grows and grows and grows. It's gorgeous. So I was inspired by that and I called this entire series, the city of flowers. So first up, we have Rainier Valley. I'm guessing that you will probably recognize some of these names. Maybe this is where you hang out. Maybe this is your area. Maybe you'll be inspired to go to a new part of town. I just hope you love the colors. So that's the most important part. Rainier Valley, if you come up close, it is a pink. There is going to be some tonal variation throughout with that pink. And I know I oftentimes talk about this. so. I really want you to be aware that I am striving for the light lights with the dark darks. It's going to create a lot more depth within your stitching as you create these projects. So I very intentionally try to give some tonal definition there. Now within this game, you are going to see a lot of speckling done. If we open it up, you can see what it looks like throughout this game. There's going to be yellows, teals, and a couple different colors of pink. This is very, very much a pink game. And again, this is Rainier Valley, Capitol Hill. Yeah, this game is so pretty. I cannot wait to see this stitched up. So we have a really gorgeous, almost like a plum through the Happy Dye Bath. Oh, and that's a, I also get to tell you about Happy Dye Baths. So this is a two part series. Everything gets dyed in their Happy Dye Bath, which is a custom colorway first. And then I bring everything back up to do the speckling. So you'll see the colors first and then the speckles second. These speckles, they just make me think of the little flowers in a garden popping their little faces up with color. You're gonna see some greens, pinks, and purples on this real pretty plum skein. Let's open up the skein so that you can see what's going on on the inside. It's just really, 
It's really pretty. This is going to be gorgeous. Columbia City. We've got blues and greens in this one. So there's some color mingling throughout this, creating this really nice green. And you can see if I come up close, it's probably due to those yellow speckles. Yellow tends to do that, particularly on the blue, of course. But uh, yellows and blues. And then the rest of the speckling comes in with some darker blue, pinks, greens. And there's a great contrast there with those dark, dark speckles you can see. Again, this is Columbia City. Broadway! Broadway here. Broadway. And this is uh, maybe a muted pink with a muted green or teal. Open it up. Broadway. The speckles on this are a dark red, very dark red, and some browns in there. Let's open it up so that you can see what's going on. Broadway. Ravenna. I don't know if I said that right. If I didn't, you could comment below. Tell me the right way to say it. Uh, but we have a happy dye bath of this on a black or a dark, dark char charcoal. Let's open it up. The speckling is done in a couple different pinks, some blues, some purples, a little tiny bit of teal. Just a little bit. We'll open it up so you can see what's going on in here. All right. Ravina? Ravina? We'll go with that. That sounds good for being a tourist and not knowing, right? Hawthorne Hills. Ah, look at this color. We've got some really intense purple up on the front, some nice lights on the back. That's going to be so beautiful on your depth of stitching. Happy dye bath on this is probably the green. Does it look like the green? No, maybe the purple. Oh, maybe it's a surprise. Lots of green in it though, lots of purple as well. So it's a win-win. Speckling is done in pinks and a little bit of reds, as well as purples and greens. All right, Hawthorne Hills, the University District. Lots of color coming at you right now. So many colors. Open it up. We've got dark greens, teals, blues, purples, and pinks on the speckles. Big contrast within the skein. Lots of options for some stitch definition there. Let's open it up so you can see. All right, University District. More big color coming at ya. Queen Anne. Queen Anne. Oh, look at this. Look, look at this. Oh my goodness, look at that pink. It's just jumping right out at ya. If you love hot pink, this one is for you. Look at this. Whoa. Uh, speckles are done in purple. So you've got pinks, purples, and that real pretty blue. Look at that bright blue in there. All right. Queen Anne. Green Lake. This has a lot of color in speckles. So the Happy Dye Bath is a little bit lighter. Not necessarily in the density of the dye itself, but the colorway is just a little lighter. All right. Lots of speckles down here. We've got oranges, pinks, purples, blues. Yes. Lots of speckles. I love these speckles. I love color. I love color. I love everything about color. I don't know if you can possibly have too much color. No, it's not possible. Who am I kidding? Definitely not. I love color. This is Green Lake. This has a lot of speckling. That color is super pretty. Lake City. Again, another darker happy dye bath in the blacks and charcoals. Speckling on this is done in blues, oranges, and pinks. Blues, oranges, and pinks. Let's open it up. Lake City. Hillman City. Lots of purples, lots of reds, lots of pinks, lots of color. Again, we love color, right? Happy dye bath on this is done in a purple. You're going to see, because of the contrast between the speckling and the skein, you're going to see so many speckles here. 
speckles of the reds and purples, and it looks like a breakdown of blue as well. Very, very pretty. Hillman City. Oh, there's only a couple left. Oh, yeah. Cascade. Cascade has big killer here. Cascade. Lots of big killer on Cascade. Lots of color mingling, lots of speckling, really big, bright, happy dye bath in the blue. You're gonna see the speckles done in pinks, reds, yellows, blues, purples. Holy moly. Ooh, holy moly. This is a this is great. Cascade. Cascade. Wallingford. Again. Tourist over here. Wallingford. Happy dye bath on this is a purple. You're going to see the big contrast with the blue speckles. There's going to be blues, yellows, greens, pinks for your speckling on here. All right. Again, tourist pronunciation, Wallingford. Belltown. This is a gorgeous coral tone for the happy dye bath. I was so happy when I saw this starting to turn in the kettle. Oh my goodness, look at that. Speckles on this are done in blues, teals, reds, and purples. I just, I, oh, look at that. I love this killer. It's just so pretty. Uh, let's open it up on the blues though, too. All right, bell town. And these are all the yarns headed to Acorn Street. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for bringing these in. I am so happy to be here. I cannot wait to come to Seattle to see you. We're going to have to make some plans, get together. We can do something fun. Maybe, you know, stitch a project or something. That, that sounds great to me. Thank you again. I really appreciate it.